My name is Phil Hughes. I'm one of the lecturers in the subject areas of light and design technology and live event technology. Um, what I'm going to show you today is a bespoke system that we've put together. A bespoke system that's used in applications including architectural lighting, museum exhibits and themed entertainment. So this is an example of a standard DMX 512 fixture and we're using it in this setup just as an example. Uh, we send the message from the mobile phone to the mobile phone provider. That message in turn gets sent to our router system. Um, the router system has a built-in um, SIM card and the SIM card allows SMS messages to be received. Now the SMS message has more than just the body of text in it, so the entire message with all of the details gets sent through to the Pharos LPC1 via the data switch you can see here. The Pharos then interprets the whole message and extracts the information that you've actually texted to the system and triggers a corresponding timeline. So what we do in setting up the system is create a number of different timelines for uh, different scenarios and then trigger those timelines from a text message uh, as necessary. Okay, so the Pharos LPC1 is a multi-purpose controller. At the moment, we've got it outputting DMX, which is a standard protocol for the industry. Uh, it can also output MIDI and other types of media, such as audio as well. So the Pharos does all the processing. It outputs according to the inputs it receives. So other things that the staff here have implemented using this system are these uh, connection strips here, which allow basic logic to be input and output from the controller. So we can input things as simple as a push button switch all the way up to photo sensors. And then also on the output, timelines can trigger different devices that have simple logic inputs to function. We also have MIDI in and out on the device and staff have implemented this to trigger audio and also to listen from triggers from uh, controlling devices. Okay, so there are a number of example applications for this kind of technology. The first one uh, that we designed and uh, implemented was a tour bus, which is fully automated. The system is also able to take GPS information in, uh, which means that the system can react and give different outputs depending on the location of the devices. A good example of that is a fully automated tourist bus, uh, which um, automated announcements playing in different areas as the bus moves around, uh, the atmosphere changing and also uh, other environmental um, changes. Another example would be uh, public monuments which have had uh, architectural lighting installations. These can be remotely managed very simply by SMS text messaging. So an installation could be put in place, forgotten about and then if there needs to be a change to the lighting that can be simply done via a simple text message.